You may have seen or read about barnacles attached to turtles. So why do barnacles attach to turtles? Barnacles cannot live in water on their own. They need a hard surface to thrive. A turtle shell is one such hard surface. Barnacles need constant water movement so they settle on any moving substrate. That is why if a turtle comes close to the barnacles, they get attached to the turtle's hard shell. The secret and adhesive substance that enables them to stick to any hard surface around them. Once the barnacles get affixed to any hard substance, they remain stationary for the rest of their lives. Barnacles use their legs to pull food from the water. Studies show they may be able to feed effectively if they are positioned so that currents push food particles into their fan. If you put a barnacle with no flow, it does nothing. It will die. It relies 100% on passive feeding. So it really has to be in a high flow environment all the time. This makes sense if you are living on a turtle, you are going to get a lot of flow. But do they hurt turtles? Though barnacles are not fatal for turtles, the overloading of barnacles will prevent the turtle from moving swiftly. Excessive barnacles will also cause discomfort to the turtle. The turtle will not be able to catch its prey due to its sluggishness. In such instances, the turtle can fall sick due to the lack of food intake and starvation. Another impact of barnacles on the turtle will be on its swimming ability. The increased weight on the turtle shell can hinder its swimming. If you are interested in watching how a jellyfish able to live without a brain, then click the video on the right and thanks for watching.